Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Game Set Live. So today we have a little bit of a unique video compared to what I'm, I used to do, including the Star Wars Lego stuff. Uh, you can see right here, we have a 1999 or 2000 Star Wars lightsaber hilt replica. And now this replica was made by Larbell, uh, Larry Loon, as I have done some research on and tried to figure out a little more history about this lightsaber. But what I wanna do for this video specifically is we'll give you, at first, we'll give you a, a close look at the saber itself, the hilt. I'll even be able to disassemble most of it. Um, and I'll give you a really close in-depth look at the hilt, what I think about it, what I like about it, what I don't like, uh, maybe some discrepancies that I've seen um, doing some research. And then uh, at, at the end of this video, we'll circle back. And I really wanna get a lot of feedback from you guys. I'm relatively new to the lightsaber replica, hilt replica community, I guess you could call it. Um, I've always wanted a lightsaber or lightsaber hilt, so that's always been in my mind. But as far as digging into the history, the community, uh, what different people made lightsaber hilts and, and that kind of stuff, I'm pretty new to it. So I really want to hear a lot of feedback from you guys. Maybe if you're not a, a regular viewer of my channel, but you can drop a comment below and drop some knowledge, that would be fantastic. That's pretty much more so what I'm looking for with this video, uh, looking to get information from you guys as opposed to me giving you information because I only know so much. I'll share with you what I know, but I really want to hear a lot of information from you guys. All right, here, here we have the up-close view of the lightsaber hilt itself. It's about 12 inches long, 11 or 12 inches long, and of course it has the cover tech clip there for your belt. Um, it has the very noticeable pommel that you would pretty much only see on Obi-Wan Kenobi's hilt, which that aspect of this hilt and this top are really what drew me to this hilt. Uh, I, I'd always want, like I mentioned before, I'd always wanted a lightsaber and or lightsaber hilt, and I always knew that I wanted this specific one. I do want to to disassemble it to give you guys a, good, a better view about the actual components. It's a, it's a relatively simple disassembly. The CoverTech clip pretty much holds this whole piece together. So let's scoot this on out of here and push this back. So if we take this CoverTech, unscrew that off, this free slides out and this bottom part slides out. Uh, from my understanding, this top portion, the emitter, that will unscrew out. I did try, uh, may have nicked it up a little bit to get this unscrewed. So that was unable to come out, which isn't the biggest deal. But then we have this, uh, the pommel at the bottom that also unscrews out. So you can see the beautiful pommel. And actually one of the differences between the Attack of the Clones hilt and this hilt is the pommel knobs, I guess, whatever you want to call these, the, the do, they do not have holes, whereas this one does have holes. So that's one, if you're looking at the, the hilts, uh, you see one with holes, you see one without holes, that's what you know the difference is. So I'll set this there. And actually, this part, let's see if I can get it out. And of course, this part right here, this metal part slides out just like that. So I actually have considered making some modifications myself. I think it would be really cool to machine a part that is this similar metallic piece, but whoops, but it's hollow. So if you turn it, part half of it's hollow, half of it's not. So if you turn it, you can put a nice little kyber crystal in there and have a little LED light and kind of show it off. So I think that would be a kind of a cool aspect, but that's for a later date. So you can kind of get a better look at the parts that make up this saber. And of course, this red button here, that does unscrew. Relatively simple piece. I'll give you guys a zoom on that. That is a metal metallic piece itself. And then lastly, the brass knob does come out. 
and that has the purple emerald in it purple ruby we'll call it now this piece uh is i'm gonna tell you a little story about this piece uh, when I first got the hilt, I was uh, kind of messing with it a little bit, and I thought this was screwed in there, and tried to unscrew it. Turned out it was super glued, super glued in there. So what I did was I, with the help of my father, I, we, or he, I guess I should say, machined a piece, machined this piece, if I can get it unscrewed, machined this piece, So that it all screws together, which I think is awesome. Um, I did not want any kind of cheap glued pieces together. So we machine, we were able to machine this piece and it all fits very nicely together. Just like that. Perfect. All okay, right, I'm gonna reassemble this one really quickly. Get a really good look at it. It has a nice weight to it. It's about, I'd say, between one and two pounds, max of two pounds. But I really, really like the feel of it. It has a nice weighty feel. doesn't feel cheap. Like I said, no real plastic components. So it's definitely, definitely a great addition to, or a great beginning to my collection. So with what what I know, with the the Larbell hilts were made by Larry Lung. I believe he was a guy out in um, China, I want to say. No, China or Japan. I believe it was China. Um, he made these. He kind of uh, started getting a pretty good following back in 99, 2000. I don't know how many he made. That would uh, That's something that I would be really curious to know. Um, I do know that he did make the, obviously, Obi-Wan Kenobi from The Phantom Menace. He also made... The Qui-Gon Jinn from Phantom Menace, Darth Maul from Phantom Menace, the full two that connected together. And he also made, got my little cheat sheet here, he made Seizi Tin, Eve Koth, Plo Koon, and Mace Windu. All three of those were from Attack of the Clones. And he also did make Kiati Mundi from Revenge of the Sith. Um, I, I'd be curious to hear if he made any uh, any more of those or any more hilts. And I don't believe he made any of the old times, the original trilogy. Uh, I believe he made all from the prequel tril trilogy. So I would be curious to know how many of each that he made and also if he made any other lightsaber hilts from any other Jedis. Jedi, not Jedis. <laughs> So please, please let me know in the comments below if you know anything about those. Uh, of course, I, I have done since I looked was originally looking, looking at this one from Larbell. I looked a lot into the master replicas, looking into how many they made, which Jedi masters they made, which hilts they made. Uh, I did find in a form a guy compiled a whole list of every master replica's hilt that they made even the specialized ones that weren't sold to the public so i will include that in the description below so you can check that out basically they made every main character jedi from episode one through episode six including but not limited to phantom menace they made qui-gon darth maul a darth maul weathered version which which was just a one hilt and then they made obi-wan kenobi from the phantom menace from Obi-Wan from Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. They also made a Anakin Skywalker. I believe that would have only been from Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, they did make a Luke Skywalker, uh, four through six, Darth Vader, four through six, maybe just Empire Strikes Back. But you can see that whole list. Uh, their runs for these, also Count Dooku, that was a really cool one. You. In that full list, you'll see the, the numbers from each series that they made. And that would be, they made anywhere from 600, uh, 750 
to about 2,500 max for each of these hilts. And I believe they, they were created from about 2005, 2007, I would say, is when they actually manufacture these hilts. And you can find them on eBay. They will range from about $650 to anywhere from $3,000. On average, I would see, say about 900 to 1,000 if you're really looking for one. Uh, this one, as I mentioned before, was 250. That's because it wasn't officially licensed. Of course, I, I failed to mention the master replicas are the only movie replica hilts that were officially licensed. Oh, and of course, they didn't make a Darth Sidious one. But my my dream would obviously be to own a couple of the lightsaber hilts uh, by Master Replica, specifically Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Attack of the Clones. I think Darth Maul would obviously, obviously be really cool. I think they did make a Mace Windu. Yes, I believe they made a Mace Windu. But that's more or less what I know about the... The Larbell series, they actually did make a electric version of the Larbell series where they there were people that modified these to add electrical components. Then as well, I believe he made electronic versions himself. But I've, I know I've said this a million times, but I really want to emphasize it that I want you guys to comment below what you know about the lightsaber hilt movie prop replica community. Uh, I've been searching forums, trying to get as much information as I could and getting a better understanding for this community. But please, please comment below. Uh, looking for any information on Larbell himself. I don't, he's not making hilts anymore, uh, but himself in regards to the, the hilt movie prop hilt department. And maybe if you own a, a master replica yourself and can comment below, tell me which one you have, that would be amazing. And then also for any uh, any other viewers that maybe you say, eh, I've not really gotten into the collecting department, the collecting community, but maybe you can just comment below if you which, which lightsaber hilt you would want if you could have one. Uh, I think that'd be really great. This one, as I mentioned, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I had always wanted this Obi-Wan's hilt. I just love the design. So sleek looking, so elegant, as he mentioned. It's a very elegant weapon. Um, I love this the little brass knob, the red button, this beautiful pommel, the grooves here, the uh, grooves at the top of the emitter. So um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment below, like this video, share. We want to get as much information as we can. And if this video does better than I'm expecting it to do, maybe I'll do a, uh, a recap video and share with you the information that I've learned, whether it be from the comments below or from finding various forums in the community. So once again, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my review and uh, feedback of the Lar Bell, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Phantom Menace, Lightsaber Hilt. Once again, thanks for watching, guys, and remember to keep it live.